to do. I This is just something I just sketched just now. I actually saw something on Pinterest that was just hand painted and it had like paper mache hearts and different things. And I kind of got my inspiration from that, but we're just gonna take the that inspiration of two hearts and the verbiage and make it in to, um, uh, make it into something fan fantastical. So, uh, I'll check on that, Trish, and uh, when when I get off here, I will check on that because, hmm, I done now. I know, it's fantastic. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is, I sketched on here, can you tell I'm a little like squirrely today? So I sketched on here, so what I'm gonna do is just get a watercolor pencil from behind, just a, a pink watercolor pencil, and I'm just gonna kinda sketch, ow! I'm gonna kinda sketch where I want my hearts to be, and then we're gonna take it from there. We'll add a little background, we're gonna add some foreground, we'll add some color, add some glass, I don't know. I'm flying by the seat of my pants today. I don't know what's gonna happen once we get started. So I know I want two hearts, and I want them kinda touching, so I'm just gonna kinda sketch one, and I want them to be loosey-goosey. I'm gonna do one here, and then we'll do one here. Let's make it a little fatter and fun. Okay, so this is kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with this. Can you see how I've sketched that? It's kind of dark looking in here for some reason. Okay, this is an eight by 10. It's just a little uh, half inch canvas that I use when I teach um, like DIY classes in the studio or when I was in Georgia. But I had a ton of these, so I thought, why not? So it's just an eight by 10. Uh, do it on whatever size you want. You can enlarge your hearts to whatever size you want. Um, I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna put this over here and no idea, I just grabbed a ton of different colors uh, from, my, um, uh, from my shelf. And I, I grabbed a teal, a couple of teals, and some pinks, fuchsia, purpley colors. I grabbed this heavy bodied fuchsia. Of course, we have gold and gold and white and black all the good stuff. So I am trying to kind of just figure out what I want to do. Uh, it is naked right now. It is one of those pre-primed canvases, Diana. So we're just going to work right on top of that. Uh, so it is just that pre-primed the way it comes out of the package uh, because we're going to cover this entire thing. So I think what we're going to do first is I'm going to put some gold in the middle of this top heart, and then I'm gonna put some go some um, pinky colors, some of uh, the magenta, um, and maybe a little white in, in this one. So, Cause I think we'll do full glass in this heart with some fun gold around the edge. And then we'll do maybe um, uh, some golden teal on this one, and then the uh, glass around the edge. I don't know. We're just gonna have to see. So we're gonna start with some Anita's Royal Fuchsia. I'm just gonna start squirting colors. And some Anita's White. Thank you for the sprinkles, Lisa. Appreciate you. We'll get some white on our palette. You know, I'm gonna love me some white. And then I think I'll get a little bit Let's see what this color is. I think it's the same, kind of the same. It's a little more purple. And that is a Modern Masters Magenta. And just for fun, we're gonna add a tiny amount. Can you tell I'm flying by seeing my pants? Because, uh, thank you, Amy. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. So we're gonna start with this. And we're gonna add, I'm gonna use just a, flat paintbrush and we're gonna do this willy-nilly. There's not gonna be anything technical and there's not gonna be <laughs> anything fancy about this, okay? So I'm gonna go in, wet my brush, 
And I'm gonna go into this uh, Royal Fuchsia color, the medium pink, and I'm just gonna put some of the pink on this heart. And it's not gonna be a solid color. You know I don't like solid colors. So we'll put a little bit of pink, then I'm gonna offload that. And I'm gonna go into this other pink, which was Pink Melon. We'll just add a little bit of that too. Pink Melon. It's a little bit more of a coral pink. And we'll get some white on here. Now we're putting glass on top of this. So don't worry too much if you're playing along or if you're gonna make this, don't worry too much about what color you're using. I just like to play whether I'm adding glass or not so that if you choose not to add glass, then that works as well because you could do this. As long as your background is pretty, you could do this with or without glass. So it gives you options. I'm gonna add a little white here. So there's our pink hearts. Let me show you a little close up. Just something a little messy. So let me rinse that. Need some more water. And I need a sip of wine. Wine's cried, call my name. It is awesome, isn't it? Hey, Inga, so nice to talk to you earlier today. Okay, so on the other side, I think we're going to add I'm gonna try a little bit of this uh, Folk Art Pure Gold. Hopefully that'll be opaque. If not, we'll make do with something else. This is new, so I gotta peel my little top off. So I have to tell you guys while I'm doing this, I have to tell you what I did. And so this live might run long, so if you get bored, you can pop off and pop back on because <laughs> Uh, let me tell you what I did. So about 2.30 today, I decided, yes, yeah, sippy, sippy, cheers. About 2.30 today, I decided to stick something in the crock pot. Uh, I made a chicken marsala, and on high, you can cook that. I'm gonna add a little bit of these two teals, too. Um, on, if you put the crock pot on high, and you brown your chicken, because I made chicken marsala, uh, you can uh, put it on high and it'll be ready in like four hours. So I browned my chicken, put all the stuff in the crock pot, plugged it in, walked away. And about 5.30, by the way, this is um, aquamarine and metallic teal. I walked away and came back about 5.30 and the uh, crock pot was not working. Apparently, I plugged it into one of those, I'm gonna add the teal first. I plugged it into one of those outlets that has the button on it. You know what I'm talking about? I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Somebody help me out. The G, the, my brain says GPS, but that's not it. It's the button, it's the uh, one that kind of controls your whole life. So I plugged it in to that and it had tripped. And so the uh, chicken and stuff that was in the crock pot has, had not, GFI, thank you, that had not even begun to start to cook, which means once it was plugged in, it was gonna be four more hours and it didn't get plugged in until 5.30. So there's that. So I won't be able to eat until like nine o'clock tonight <laughs> or I'm gonna have to go get something. So we're just kind of mixing two different teals on this side. And yes, yes, we're mixing two different teals on this side and this side is going to get glass around the edge. So you'll want to um, have this one look a little prettier maybe than the pink. So we're gonna add a little bit of white. 
on that side, and then we're gonna go with some gold. Just kind of blend it in. I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. Seriously, I'm just doing whatever I feel like. <laughs> no, I added all the things. The crock pot just never got turned on because the GFI was tripped. And so the food was just sitting there for like two and a half, three hours, not cooking. Because I went to check it to see, to kind of bust up the chicken a little bit. And no, no, not happening. All right, I'm kind of happy with that. Let me add a little more white over here. And I think I'm gonna go around the outside with gold. Let me rinse. And this is just the uh, folk art metallic gold. Just hit that outside edge a little. We might do the outside edge of this uh, other one as well. So if you just got here, we don't know what we're doing. We're just playing. It was like I knew I was going to use this glass. I knew I was going to make some hearts of some sort. But I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. But I'm kind of digging that. Just throw in some more gold here and there. Huh. Not too bad. All right, so let's do the little gold around here too. And don't try to be perfect. I'm being very abstract kind of willy-nilly. I got a little bit of that pink on there. I might add a little bit of that pink over here. Oh, yes, let's do it again. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the ticket. <laughs> uh, Denise, uh, it was always 6.30. You might be thinking about um, what we were going to be doing next Thursday in the Shattered Circle. That's on the calendar for next Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, and that is our Easter piece. So this was always for 6.30. I know it's confusing. Two webs, Two different Facebook pages. Uh, well, hopefully it will be. Otherwise, it may kill me. So hopefully that won't happen. Actually, I think, what do you guys think about adding? So I added that little dot of pink to one side. So what do you think about adding a little dot of blue to the other? Boom. Let's see what happens. If it's bad, it's bad. Oh, yeah. It's going to be covered up anyway. Okay, so I think now what we're going to do, I need to add some color to the outside because I don't want it to be white. So I may use, let's see, what should we use? What should we use? I don't want to use gold because I don't want to interfere, interfere with what we have here. But what I may do is put, I have white and I have some silver, let's see. Or maybe some purple, any suggestions on the background color? Otherwise, it may work with some silver or I'm going to get a bigger brush. That's like a background brush. So let's just add the white and then we'll add in some color. I don't want to get right up next to my hearts because I don't want to ruin that effect that we created. But we'll get as close as we can. Oh, why not the pink? What do you think? Let's try that. If we don't like it, we'll take it off, right? Purple, purple. Oh, look, purple. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Let's see what some silver does. Might be too gray. 
Digging the purple. Purple it is, guys. Need some more white. So see what I'm doing? I'm just, you know, kind of making X's and blend in my color together. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect. Can be lighter in some spots, darker in others. So we're just gonna continue that direction. Love the purple, it looks fantastic. So let's get this done. This glass is gonna be so much fun. I hope it shows up nicely. I'm gonna to try to take a really good picture of it out in the sun tomorrow so you can really see what it looks like because guys, it is fantastical. Purple is always good as right. Purple and teal. If, it's, if, it, if it doesn't look right, add a little purple or add a little teal. I'm gonna add a little more purple right here. Watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get crazy. Going off the chain now. <laughs> That's hilarious. No, when you just need to practice, just practice. And, and it's about mixing the right colors too, the same colors. I got a little pink in there. Yeah, some colors will turn into a mud pie, but White always works. Let me get that hair out. So that looks awesome. I'm very pleased with this. I'll add a little tiny bit of pink. That wasn't a tiny bit at all. I lost my mind. That is pretty Awesome. All right, here's what I'm gonna do, because I made kind of a mess, is I'm gonna go ahead and just throw a little bit of color on those edges, since they're so messy. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Uh, no, Colette, I don't think there is, I think, um, Whichever way you want to do it, if you wanted to paint the background first, I think that is fine. I just wasn't sure what colors I was going to even use on the hearts. So to have painted the background for myself for this piece particularly would have been, you know, not conducive because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So, yeah, if you know you're going to do this, then totally paint your background and then do your hearts on top. Just keep it super abstract and, you know, not perfect. So now, our edges look nice. All right, so we're still wet. So here's what I'm gonna do. Messy hands. I'm gonna have a sip. Look at this, guys, this is fantastic. Even just like it is, if you're not a glass art person, you could just paint this just like it is add the verbiage that we're gonna add and, and leave it just like this. And it was so super simple. Just adding in those extra colors really made a difference. So I'm hoping that this rose gold is gonna be so pretty on those edges. Okay, so I'm gonna move this. The heat came back on and it's killing me. I'm going to be uh, having a sip. Uh, yes, Phyllis, if I can get a bunch, I will be adding that to the repertoire. I don't know if it's a mist tint because normally if a new color comes out, I, I know it pretty fast. So um, I'm going to order more and add what I get to the um, website and hopefully it'll become a permanent fixture. 
because it's a fantastic color. Okay, guys, real quick, I'm going to take this behind me and blow dry it so that we can move on and not have to wait for like 10 minutes and just have idle chit chat. So, yes. I'm gonna dry this with my hair dryer, so if your ears are sensitive, you might wanna turn your volume down. Get 200 pounds, we all want some. I'll do it, Lou, you know I will. So I'm gonna, hair, I'm gonna hit this with a hair dryer, so if you don't wanna hear all that noise, make sure you turn your volume down, and I am going to go now. do it. We'll let that cool for a few seconds. I got one spot there that wants to be wet and here. But I think it'll be okay. We're going to let that cool for a few seconds. And the, um, it's there, it's a random mix of paints. Um, I, if you're in the shattered circle, Denise, so I'll be listing these paint colors in a PDF doc for you. Uh, but for the record, uh, we had Anita's White, we had Anita's Royal Fuchsia, we had Pink Melon by Folk Art. Um, I didn't use any of the silver, really. I tried it at first, but I didn't use it, so we're going to skip that. But we had Purple, which is uh, Americana Lavender, and we had Gold. Folk Art Metallic Gold, and we had Folk Art Metallic Aquamarine and Folk uh, Dazzling Metallics Teal. All these will be uh, listed out for you inside the Shattered Circle, so don't stress about that too much. I'll be getting you a tracer and the colors at, if you are a member of the circle. And a link to this uh, as well so pretty pretty okay so I think we're dry enough and we're warm we're not warm anymore so here's what we're gonna do thinking that in the middle of our pink heart now keep this in mind you could leave this just like it is okay you could polyurethane it you could pour resin over it leave it just like it is um, actually I'm gonna do one more thing uh, because you don't, it is not necessary at this point to even add the glass. Glass is just an extra. Glass is just for fun, okay? So I am going to add some words to this, okay? I don't want to use this because this is my graphic and it's too small. It only makes, like, let me show you. It makes tiny little, I don't know, that might work. Let's try it. I was gonna say it doesn't show up enough, but I don't want it to be bold in your face. So we're gonna do it. Hey, Connie, hey, Kim, hey, Kathy. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, so I just want it to be kind of scratched into the background and not um, in your face, for lack of a better word. So over here, I'm going to write, just in my handwriting, love never fails. And I'm not even going to try to be perfect. I'm actually going to try not to be. Does that make sense? So we're going to do love never fails. Love never fails. All right, and then down here, we're gonna do some more stuff. We're gonna do love 
is P patient, P eight patient. And then love is kind, period. That's all we're gonna do. Just hand print it if you, hey Terry, thanks for being here. If you are Kathy from Alabama, hello. If you are terrible at like hand printing something like this, just print off a small, font from um, your computer and trace it onto your background or you can just skip this all together. I just wanted to add a little something in mine, but this is optional, of course, as is the glass and resin. So here's what we're gonna do. Glue. Uh, Aileen's Clear Tacky Glue with wine. And I am gonna go create a line with my glue on the pink part, okay? Just inside the gold. Just to the pink line. And yes, I'm covering up all that pink, but that's okay. If you're not using glass, then you have a beautiful heart. Add a little bit of that. And then I'm gonna add some of this rose gold glass that I just got. I'm so excited about. Hopefully, it will be spectacular. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty, and it's gonna be even prettier when the resin goes on. Guys, this is awesome. So, here's what I wanna tell you guys right now. Here's what's gonna happen. When we are done with this live, I am going to give this piece to somebody. Do you know what you need to do to be in the run-in? Does anybody have a clue about how you could potentially get this piece of art mailed to you? And I'll show you, before we sign off, I'll show you how to make that happen. I can't do it now because I don't want Facebook throwing me off the page. <laughs> yes, sprinkles makes it happen. So what we'll do when we're done, if you sprinkle, we're gonna, anybody who sprinkles, your name will go in a hat and we'll give you, we'll give you till Saturday morning to sprinkle. Oh, this is so fantastical, guys. You guys just don't even, oh, I can't wait for you guys to see this. Um, just sprinkle to your friends, anybody who you think would love to see what we're doing here over on the Art Shattered page, sprinkle on your page to your friends, and then uh, we will draw a name from the sprinklers, and I will ship one person this lovely piece of art. I probably just tanked my reach on this piece, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to take a risk and give your art away, right? Sometimes you do. So we're going to give this to a lucky sprinkler. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be lucky. It's really pretty. <laughs> so I'm trying to fill in that heart really nicely and Yes, please, if you sprinkle, comment that you did so, and that way I'll know, I'm not gonna check up on you, I'm just gonna trust that you're honest, loving, caring people, so comment that you sprinkled, and we will add your name to the hat, and um, draw your, we'll put your name in our little drawing. Okay, I wanna show you this, but I don't wanna knock it down, and I don't know that you'll be able to even see how beautiful it really is until it's completely dry, okay? So now what I wanna do is on this one, we are going to add dun, 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 gold glass only to the outside. So let me, let me see, where's my, I need some gold. I'm gonna add glue only to 
the gold, the little bit of gold edge that we created on the outside of the blue, the teal, and that inside of that heart is metallic, so it really looks nice and it's really going to stand out with the resin. So now we'll micromanage this just a little bit so that we have a nice clean edge. <laughs> Thanks for all the sprinkles. Somebody is going to get that this little art piece this weekend. It's going to be a fun little thing. I'm just going to dump this on the table because I want to kind of pick and choose my pieces. So I'm going to line this outside edge with, that's not a piece, with gold. And then we're going to pour resin because my supper ain't going to be ready for three days. I know you do, Rhonda. You're my love bug, girl. So yeah, I messed up supper, so I may have to go eat supper out. We're just gonna line up some pieces, some decent sized pieces around the edge of this one. So this one is solid center, and this one is outlined. Gonna go all the way around the edge. It's gonna take three days. This is why I don't place pieces. <laughs> hey, Anne, thank you for being here. Don't forget to sprinkle to your friends and then you may be the, the recipient of a lovely piece of glass art from Art Shattered Studio. We are so happy you are here. I'm trying to pick and choose without being a, too terribly, you know, particular. <laughs> Judy, you ate peanut butter and crackers? And I put my supper in the crock pot at about 2.30, 3 o'clock today. And I didn't realize that the GFI, is that correct? Am I saying that right? GFI was uh, bumped. And so my stuff has been in the crock pot for like three hours, not cooking. So there's that. So I, have, I was cooking chicken marsala. Uh, or thought I was, and uh, yeah, not happening. Not even sure it's worthy of eating at this point since it's been sitting in the crock pot for three hours. I did turn it on. So I'm just gonna continue. Let me do this, turn it. Adding my little pieces. Somebody, since I can't really, somebody tell Barbara what sprinkling is. Facebook doesn't like me to say the word. They will knock my video down if I say it because they think I'm being spammy. And so they're really controlling about that kind of stuff. So we have to like make ways because we love to give our art pieces to friends and they, they don't really want us to do that. And they don't want you to let your friends know what we're doing for some reason, even though, you know, I, I pay Facebook a lot of money. Is Mercury in retrograde? Oh my gosh, that is what's wrong with me. That explains a lot. Seriously, I firmly am a firm believer in that. And that explains a lot about what's going on in my life and in my head. Lord. Lordy mercy. Thank you. Scooch that down. So I've got to be really careful. I don't want to get anything really close to that edge because the resin will r roll over. So let me find a little bit of a skinny piece and then we're going to get ready to resin. We'll do this one. A little skinny piece glued down. So look, I'm going to show you this close up. I'm going to scoot all that over. Is this not adorable? So here's what we did. 
And you, I will uh, try to capture a picture of before glass and after glass so that if you want to make one, you can have the option of not adding the glass and kind of know what it looks like. But we've added the rose gold to the center of the pink heart. And then we have taken the teal heart and added gold reflective to the outside edge of that one. So cute, so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put my little blocks under here so that we don't be drippy. Make sure we have it in the right place. And now I gotta figure out bilingual English and autocorrect. Oh my gosh, gee, that unsurprised me. I have not been a Facebook jail, knock on everything, plastic, wood, drywall, glass, knock on everything. I try to keep my opinions to myself. So, we are gonna mix resin now. So if you've never done a resin project, stay tuned, because we are gonna mix some resin. I have two little baby medicine cups. Elena, I sell the glass on my website at artshattered.com. So you can find it there. Uh-oh. Um, I don't have gloves. Steve, are you, um, are you there? <laughs> I need gloves. I need gloves. I don't have gloves. Okay, so art resin is what I use. I'm trying not to touch this with my fingers because it's kind of sticky and messy, but let me grab a paper towel. My gloves are downstairs. So I use art resin, which is a two-part epoxy, okay, and it's made specifically for uh, art projects. So it's non-VOC, non-hazmat, non-BPA, and it has a very, probably the most high uh, rating for non-yellowing. Yes. So, yeah, Facebook needs a timeout. They really do, Emily. Facebook needs a, like a two-year timeout. <laughs> 10 minutes ain't enough. 10 minutes is not enough. Thank you so much. I did this last time. Thank you for the gloves very much. Gloves. So always you. oh, they're cold. Always use gloves when you are uh, pouring resin because you don't want this on your fingers. Let's see. And I am gonna mix, I think, I don't have a lot of glass, so I think I'm gonna mix one ounce. I may be sorry, but if I am, that'll be on me. But I'm gonna mix one ounce of resin, which means I'm gonna do a half an ounce of hardener and a half an ounce of resin. So I'm gonna take my little baby cup and I'm gonna mark a half an ounce on, where is it? Oh, this one is like crazy. That one's, the thing is gone. There's no impression. So, half ounce of hardener in this cup. And then we'll do, I can hear you out there. Half an ounce of resin in this cup. So I'm gonna mark those so I can tell. And then we'll pour. Thank you, Janella. So I'm gonna pour a half an ounce of hardener into this cup up to my line. I'm being Facebook stalked. Half an ounce. Be careful when you get close to that line. Hey, V, long time no see. So we have a half an ounce of the Art Resin Hardener. I'm gonna push that away from myself. And then we're gonna do a half of an ounce of the resin, and they have different color tops. So, um, two, two, yeah, whatever. So let's get, oh, this one's almost empty. I need to refill. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be on the struggle bus to get a half ounce out of this bottle. I'm not even trying that, hang on. Let's get, 
the big bottle, the monster bottle. <laughs> and let's see. I have to be very careful because it's going to want to gush out. And I don't want it to gush. Ooh. I buy my resin in these huge two-gallon uh, kits and then pour them in the small bottles because they're um, a little cheaper per ounce if you buy the big bottles. And then I just pour, pour it into the small ones. Oh, girl, me and you both. I'm honest to goodness, girl. I am just now getting to where I feel like an actual human being. I had surgery in November, and then I had the COVID in December, and both of those things dang near killed me. All right, so I'm gonna take my hardener and my resin. I'm gonna pour them both into one cup, okay? So, just pour one into the other. Make sure you scrape out all the goodness I should probably just pour both of these into a bigger cup, but I like living on the edge. That's my lifestyle. It, hence me pouring the resin on top of my art piece. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna mix this for three minutes. Catherine, are you there and available for, um, oh, B, goodness. Are you available? For, I gotta put this in something else, hang on. Too full, too full. I don't have anything to put it in because my whole life is packed in. Um, I'm gonna put a plate under me so <laughs> if I make a boo boo, it won't be on my thing. So I'm stirring now, Catherine. So you have to mix your resin for three minutes. And what I'm doing is probably not what you wanna do. You wanna have space in your cup to mix so that you mix properly. This is way too full, and I would pour it in another cup, but we are in transition, and all my cups have been moved over to my other studio, and so this is all I got. So we're gonna make it work. Yes, yeah. so we're gonna mix for three minutes. Catherine is timing me. So you're gonna mix really slowly, just keep consistent stirring, scrape your sides, scrape the bottom to make sure all of that is mixed really nicely. So uh, think about this. And when you pour a cake mix into a bowl and then you pour in the wet ingredients, inevitably, as you pour your mix into your pan, you're gonna come up with some clump of dry, mix that you missed. That is what you want to avoid. So be consistent, scrape your sides, stir, don't beat it to death, stir slow, and just do that for three minutes straight. So this is a really pretty piece, isn't it? Man, I'll tell you what, cold and damp. Yeah, I hear you, Trish. It is nasty here. I'm over it. I'm ready to go somewhere warm. But, you, you know, I'll actually, yesterday, I was like, where is it warm? Where? Danny, how are you, love bug? Miss your whole face. Um, I looked at Key West, and oh my God, a hotel room in Key West where it's 80 degrees is like uh, $600 a night. No, thank you. I will put on some extra clothes and stay where I am not about that life. Yes. That's right, Lou. That is the most annoying thing, isn't it? And that's what you want to avoid is having that cake batter not mixed thoroughly. Uh, was it art resin, Brenda? Brenda said she found resin at Ace Hardware. I'm thinking it's not art resin. Be careful what resin you use. Uh, yeah, I may need to come to Phoenix, Nancy. Be careful what resin you use because it may not be conducive to art and it may yellow on you in the first week. So be careful with the resin you use. Make sure you're using resin that is conducive for art and that has a non-yellowing additive. I'm jealous, Vicki. I wanna go there. 20 year anniversary, you deserve it. You deserve it, Fort Myers 85. Judy, I'm coming to your house. Packing up tomorrow. Oh, yes, Trish. 
Naples, I love Naples. Marathon Key. Oh, look at all y'all. Phoenix, snowing in Vancouver. It was nasty here. Oh, Brenda, I'm in. Let, help me out, sister. Help a girl out. Yeah, I was looking at rooms like close to the water or close to Duval, and they were like five, $600 a night. I was like, ah, girl ain't got that much money. As much as I want the sun on my skin, no, uh-uh. Catherine says we're done. I'm probably 45 seconds late on that. 26, oh my gosh. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're all mixed for three minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is drizzle on my glass first. We want to make, our, make sure our glass is covered nicely. So we're gonna take our little stick and you're gonna cover your glass. And I like to do it very methodically. I'll start on one side and work my way across because if you just go willy-nilly like this, then you're not gonna know uh, what you've covered and what you haven't, okay? So I'm gonna actually grab a different tool than this little baby stick, because it's on my nerves. I'm gonna get, use my little silicone tool and it'll hold a little more resin. So we're gonna apply the resin to our glass. We may have over mixed, but that's okay too. Always have something available to use excess resin on. Because it's really difficult to always be perfect in your mixing. I might have done it though. I might, I might have made it perfect. Oh. Gretchen, 20 years. I've been married 20 years too, just not to the same man. I'm actually not married, so. <laughs> okay, so all of that glass is covered and I can tell because it's kind of seeping out around the edges and I can see that all my glass is kind of glossy now. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna drizzle around my little gold heart make sure we get all of that covered. This is fantastical. Don't forget, you did, Vicki, didn't you? Good for you. It's a struggle, isn't it, sister? <laughs> it is a struggle. So let's get all this covered. And then We'll use whatever we have left to cover the blank space of our canvas. So I'm gonna put a little bit right in that heart. We'll spread some here. And then I'm gonna use my tool to scrape out all the resin from our little baby cup. Make sure we get it all. So that was one total ounce half ounce of hardener, half ounce of resin, and I'm gonna to toss that. Um, I act, Brenda, I actually bought my gloves on, I uh, always get them from Harbor Freight. I just pop in there and buy two or three boxes at once. Uh, so I'm not sure if they're cheaper on Amazon or not, but I, it seems like I always am, oh crap, this is my last pair of gloves. So it's easier for me to just run up to Harbor Freight and buy them. So, so now I'm using my little silicone tool, which is actually a makeup tool, to spread the resin because I wanna cover my entire canvas with the resin. You can use your fingers. You can use a little tool like this. I'll kind of give you a, show you what I mean. I'm gonna set that over there. So you can just use your hand to spread the resin I see a hair I'm gonna to have to dig out already. Probably a kitty cat hair. I'm all about the kitty cats. So you can just use your hands to spread that. Yeah, I think these are, are these nitrile? Yes, that's what I use is the five mil nitrile, but you know, some people are allergic to one thing or the other, so use what's best for you. Just make sure you use gloves. Don't want the sticky stuff on your hands. 
or in your hair. <laughs> All right, I got cat hair. All right, so now I'm going to go inside and smear that resin around. This got, this is so pretty, y'all. I can't even tell you. Can't even. And we are covered, I believe. I'm going to take a peek at it. Let me get, there's another cat hair or either the same one. So I want to make sure my entire canvas is covered. If you have a little skippy here and there once it's done, don't stress about that, guys, seriously. I try to tell people in my membership all the time, don't sweat it. If it's a tiny little skippy, nothing in life is perfect. Does she, Brenda? That's funny. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. I'm going to try to save them so that I can reuse them because I didn't really get them very dirty. So, yeah, it's a makeup applicator is what it is. Yes, Brenda, it will self-level to a point, but if you don't have quite enough, um, oh my goodness, Liz, if you don't have quite enough resin on your art piece, you will end up with skippies, but it does self-level, so there's kind of a fine line between enough or too much and not enough. So I am going to show you one thing that helps with multiple things. So don't be afraid. This is a benzomatic propane torch. You don't have to use one this big. You can use a small version. You can use a kitchen torch. You can use a heat gun. I've even used a blow dryer. Um, uh, Gina. Oh, we need to talk about that, Gina. Um, but I am a, a big user of the big propane torch because I usually do really big pieces often. So we're gonna light this up and we are gonna torch our piece. And here are a couple rules for torching. Never let the flame touch your art piece, okay? And always keep your hand moving. Now what this does, and we're just gonna do it for a few seconds, blow it out and you're done. What the torch or the heat does is pops any bubbles that you have um, created by mixing your resin together, mixing the hardener and the resin together. It helps eliminate any of those bubbles that you created. And it also heats up the resin just a little bit so that if you, um, so that it kind of helps with the self-leveling, okay? So if you have any skippies, sometimes that heating will um, cause it to flow outward and um, help that self-leveling. I gotta show you guys this up close and personal. This is so pretty. I wanna show it to you for real, look. That is so pretty, guys. That really turned out better than I could have ever expected. Oh, oh, Trish, you can fix that. If you have a burn spot, you can fix it. You know, it's not ideal, but, um, well, a long-handled lighter is gonna be hard to use because it won't point straight down, okay? It's the... When, you, when you're pointing your lighter down, the flame is gonna come up. Gravity is gonna pull your flame up, so none of the heat is going to do that. Now, I think people have done that uh, successfully, potentially, but your best bet is to get one of those little creme brulee kitchen torches. They cost like 12 bucks on Amazon, and it's like this big. It's just a little baby torch with a small canister, and, um, there you are. Is that not adorable?